Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the RTX 2080, which is apparently a card that is going to be announced by NVIDIA coming hopefully on Monday with the announcement. Um, and with that, the rumor currently is that the card will be $650, but compete at a Titan V level of performance, at least it looks like in gaming and that sort of thing. So I want to talk a little bit about that. in a somewhat recent video that I am not going to upgrade to the, uh, I called it the 1180, but apparently now we're talking about the 2080. Regardless of the name and what nomenclature NVIDIA is going with, I still don't plan on upgrading. However, I do love this move if this is in fact the price point that NVIDIA is going with. Big thumbs up on that if that's what is actually going to happen. Now, the reason I do love this move is because even though the 10 series for most people at 1080p is plenty, especially if you're on something like a 1070 or higher, 1070 Ti, 1080, 1080 Ti, all those cards will play 1080p games awesome, and even 1440p should be no problem for most of those cards. If you have ultra high refresh rate monitors, and you're running at a higher resolution. Maybe you're running something like 3440 by 1440 at 120 hertz. Maybe you have a Dell Alienware monitor that can handle that sort of resolution and refresh rate. Then you might be able to actually benefit, especially from uh, AAA titles with a 2080. And if that's going to be the price point, then absolutely, that's something that you might want to upgrade to if you can actually benefit in the frame rate department from that because maybe you're not capping out the monitor that you currently have. Now going back to the video where I mentioned that I would not be upgrading from my 1080 Ti to a 2080 or in my video obviously I said 1180 and why I thought most people shouldn't really want to upgrade from the 10 series to the uh, now known as 2000 series. Uh, all those things were true, but they were going under the assumption that the 2000 series would be more expensive significantly than the 10 series. And it looks like that might not actually be the case, at least not to the degree that we had originally thought based on, again, these most recent rumors. And what I like about these rumors is that it does put some pressure on NVIDIA to actually follow through or deliver with at least a similar price point to what the rumor is. Otherwise, even with great performance, there could be some market disappointment by consumers if, for example, they come out with the 2080, but it's $800 or even $750. That would disappoint a lot of people that are gearing up for a $650 card to be announced. Now, to be clear, I don't think NVIDIA would actually change its plans this late in the game just based on market pressure like that. But it's not a bad thing for there to be pressure for NVIDIA to deliver a very high performance card at a very budget friendly price. And I understand that $650 is not a budget friendly price for most people, but consider this is an extremely high performing card. This is competing with, if the rumor is true again, a $3,000 card. So the value there for the consumer is just on point to the max if this ends up being the case. And then of course, we're talking about a rumor here, both on the pricing front, as well as on the actual performance front. So this is all conjecture right now. We're just going based off of the rumors uh, and the rumor mill and it churning out. So we still have a few more days to wait until we get some sort of actual numbers or actual claims from Nvidia themselves. But right now the 2000 series is starting to look like it could actually end up being a win for consumers. Whereas originally it just wasn't looking like it was gonna be that way. So of course, let me know what you think about the upcoming 2000 series, especially the rumors. I know that these are rumors, fully aware of it, can't say that enough, but it is a discussion worth having, at least in my mind, because I just enjoy talking about these sort of things. So leave us a comment down below if you are planning on getting these cards, or maybe you're planning on passing. Let us know why in those comments down below. And of course, if you like these types of videos that deal with the rumor mill and sort of just kick around ideas, give this video a like, share, subscribe, and comment. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos around me from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.